Good morning, you guys. Good morning. He loves to give kisses. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Hugs, cuddles, all that. He loves it. <laughs> thank, thank. He loves to give kisses a little bit too much. <laughs> So we're working on it, but it's really hard to not give him kisses, you know? We just woke up and, um, or no, we did it <laughs> actually. I actually filmed a little bit when we woke up. He always come up, comes up to our bed at like 6.30 because that's when we have uh, woken up the last almost two weeks that he's been here uh, because we really just didn't want him to have any accidents <laughs> in the mornings or at night so we have gone up at 6 30 which is early <laughs> for me luckily jonas pretty much always takes the morning walks because he's actually liking it he thinks it's nice so i just lay in bed until they come back from the <laughs> morning walk which is so very nice so i thought that today we could have a little full day with table so he has already had a morning walk but i am gonna go out for a second walk with him now i just have to put on some clothes we are still struggling a little bit like not at all much but during walks he uh pulls on the leash um quite a bit but like 50 percent of the time that we go out sometimes he's like super good uh, and he's also super interested in all of the other dogs, so we are working on that as well uh, Giving him treats so he doesn't care about the other dogs and so on and so on Yo, I like you too, Bobby said I like you me, silly lucky lucky So yeah, a full day of Tebow. let's do this <laughs> <laughs> he only wants cuddles. Oop, come up. Come up. Yeah, is a poor he knows exactly what we're gonna do when he sees this leash. <laughs> Yo, good. This is how I look, by the way. I have no shame <laughs> when it comes to walking, Timo. I mean, I live in Sweden, it's really cold. So, give me a break. <laughs> he's seeing some birds, so he's super interested. <laughs> Find that up, though. You cannot eat them. Nope. Hi, Tivo. Hop up. Tukti. Lick. Tukti, Tivo. This is Tukti. Tivo. Hey, Frey. Hey. Sit. Tukti. Now we're gonna dry your paws, and you hate that. Sometimes I wonder, as he's from Ireland, <laughs> maybe he understands me better when I speak English. I actually don't know. He really doesn't like when I do his front paws. So I usually do them a little bit last and give him some treats. Tukti! Tukti Timo! Tukti! Let's take this off. Tukti! Ozorma! Oh, so killing Tukti! Should we show them that you can do a little bit of tricks? Should we show them that mommy has teached you how to lay down? He's just sitting on the floor, waving his tail <laughs> and looking at me. You're the cutest, you're the cutest. Okay, he's walking away. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Should I apologize about how I look? <laughs> no, I shouldn't. Maybe I should at least brush my hair. <laughs> I think I'm gonna upload this video on my main channel. 
Um, so I don't know if how much you guys have seen of the new apartment because I usually vlog on my second channel. Oh my god, he's up in the bed. <laughs> You'll be singing, Divo. You're so miserable. Oh my god, he's just the absolute cutest. So yeah, if you guys haven't seen my apartment, this is the bedroom. And you were so cute. You were so cute. Um, and we are going to paint that wall and that wall in this color. It's like a dark pinky mauve brownish shade. I think will look really cute. The bed is not made. Sorry about it. Not sorry about it. And this is Thibaut's bed that he has already <laughs> kind of destroyed. He has a little piglet from Ikea there. We have some curtains now. We have this thing. I am not supposed to make this a room tour or a apartment tour. <laughs> but yeah, we got this stuff yesterday. I mean, how pretty is that? A tumbler? Yes. Sorry about this. We had some friends over yesterday. Here we have all of his food. As I said in the video on my second channel, we are giving him normal kittle, I think it's called with meat. Dental sticks. I don't want to disturb him, but I know as soon as I step over this line, he's going to stop eating. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stand here for a while. We have some uh, toys here. He loves this one, but he bites it, as you guys can see. So it's kind of like a toy for him as well. We got some snacks here. This one we got from Arctic Fall How. I don't remember that. Um, and we have some other treats. These ones are chicken, <laughs> and these ones we bought that is vegan. These ones are also vegan. And then this bag. Oh my god. <laughs> First of all, I feel like Thibaut is kind of a genius, which I think everybody thinks of their dog. Uh, maybe not everybody, <laughs> but he's so smart he actually like learned his name in like two days and then um one day i just wanted to see if he understood how to make him lay down um and i learned him how to lay down in like an hour although i don't know if he knows the concept of laying down but i just learned him the swedish name of it oh well i'm gonna show you guys and also he knows kind of how to wait so let's try it Oh, he's such a good boy. <laughs> he's a circus dog. Lee, Dukti, sit, Dukti. Okay. <laughs> when I recorded the last thing, it was <laughs> he had been here for one and a half weeks, and. <laughs> And today he has been here for three weeks So I just wanted to come in here and show you guys all of the other stuff that he has now learned I really didn't want to end this video until you guys know how good he is Because he is the smartest dog ever Okay, now let's show you First of all, we have stand up Stop! Stop! Oh, look and then we have paw. Okay, guys. And then we have Lee. Now we just want to cuddle. <laughs> okay, that's it. He knows paw. He knows how to stand up. He can sit, he can lay, he can wait. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, that's that. I will probably make him understand what rollover is in a few days. He thinks it's fun, so it's not like I'm forcing him to do anything. Okay, that's it. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs> he just got a new ball. His first squeaky ball. And look how <laughs> exhausted he is. <gasps> I'm so happy. <laughs> okay.
okay so i uh, actually oh no he's going away <laughs> well i asked you guys on instagram hey i asked you guys on instagram if you had some questions for him or me and the adoption process first of all i adopted him from this organization a swedish organization called hundar utan hem it is a swedish organization that mostly takes care of homeless dogs that are located in ireland and they are adopted by swedish families uh, and a lot of people have been asking why i'm not adopting a swedish dog because there are organizations here and shelters that you can go to obviously for me it felt like i could take any dog but um well i fell in love with tebow <laughs> and i was just like i felt like those dogs needed a home more than the swedish dogs that we have here and also i think that someone that isn't really used to the adoption thingy and also just used to dogs maybe they have never had a dog i think it's easier to adopt a swedish dog i felt like i could take on the challenge as you guys know if you've been following this i requested or i emailed them about two dogs one was tebow a pomeranian mix which is what he is we don't really know what he is but i am going to do a dna test and i will for sure film it so he's obviously not just a pomeranian i mean have you guys seen a pomeranian on the website he was named mr pom pom by the way <laughs> i also emailed them about another dog which was like a staffordshire terrier mix it was super cute we uh, both said that it might not be uh, the best match i saw that that dog has already been adopted so i'm super happy about that but like now when i have tebow i can't imagine having anyone else i'm like tearing up because i love him so much um so when i emailed them about these two dogs like a week or so later they called me which i have on tape which was so much fun uh i was like crying and yeah we um talked and decided also that we are gonna adopt tebow but before we get a chance to actually adopt a dog someone is coming to our home and seeing if we live nicely uh, if we are good people if we are the people that we say that we are then they called my friend joanna that also has a dog adopted from uh, that same organization so they called her and just like asked a few questions if i am a good person i guess march the first tebow came to sweden we uh, were on this parking lot and picked him up my sister's uh, partner that has uh, balder the dog that you guys know he helped us drive him home because we didn't obviously want to take the bus or anything and he has been adjusting so well i love him so much and uh, we are just meant to be <laughs> yeah i was really prepared for a lot more but he's so good let's see what kind of questions we have let me sit like this so you guys can see him how old is he he is two and a half years old and uh, we know that because he actually had a family tebow is not a dog that has been on the streets at least what we have understood he have a bit in a family that couldn't take care of him because they thought that he had way too much energy and also i think that they kind of like neglected him his fur was just like a big dreadlock. They had not been taking care of his fur. Was the first week with Tebow stressful? I mean, yes, I couldn't sleep, but he has been so good. It's just me wanting to do everything right. Why did you name him Tebow? I've only heard the name Tebow once before, and that is a Swedish <laughs> Singer. I pretty much just think it's a really nice name and I think it sounds like a dog. It's really good to like It's a good name to like say in a funny way like Tebow, you know, yeah I just really like it and also I think it is a French Name if he were my Biological son and he was Jonas biological son. I guess he would have been like 25% French 
as Jonas is 50% French. I just really like the name. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Someone asking if I would recommend the organization Hunder Ton Hem for other to adopt and I would 100% yes. They are so good. Like everybody working with the organization is just, they just care about the dogs so much. Yeah. That's pretty much it. And also, if you guys have any more questions, um, leave them in the comments. And then apparently I didn't film anything else. But I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Kibo has now been here for three weeks and it's insane how much has happened. I felt like he was so comfortable with us just for one week. But now after three weeks, like it's such a big difference and I'm so excited about it. Yeah, that's it. I hope that you guys enjoy. Please give it a like and please comment what you think of Tebow, how much you love him already. <laughs> and we shall see each other in the next video. Okay, bye guys.